What's up, everyone? This is Bo Pen. Today, I'm going to show you how to install SOS. Um, SOS is available on all major operating systems such as uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac. And this video will show you how to install SOS on a Mac. Um, so let's first try to find the uh, home page of SOS because it contains detailed instructions on how to install SOS on the system. So we search SOS and VAT lab and you will see that this is the GitHub page of SOS and this is the uh, home page. Let's go to the home page and the introductions and the features and the uh, running SOS. That's the page we are, we'll be using. Um, you can run SOS on our live server. So basically, if you click this link, it, you will have a SOS notebook open for you. And then if you open a SOS notebook, you can use it right away. But uh, in order to use SOS on your local machine, you need to install SOS locally. So let's go back there. Oh, well, it's our page, um, that lab. And this is the uh, running SOS. So, um, okay, you can also run SOS in Docker. So basically, if you have Docker installed, you can use this command to uh, basically create the same kind of a SOS server uh, with inside a Docker. But, okay, installing SOS locally, so SOS actually uh, has two major components. The first one is the SOS workflow engine. The other one is the SOS notebook, um, both of which have a number of components. Let's uh, see. So first, SOS is based on Python, actually Python 3. So you will need to have a version of Python installed. And then SOS module, SOS package is the SOS workflow engine that you can install like any other Python modules in, using the pip, uh, pip command. Then SOS supports a number of different task engines. Task engine is the engine to send local tasks basically some command to run to a remote host to execute. So if you have a like a cluster system that you want to send your job to, you can install the S SOS PBS module. And if you have a remote Redis queue server, then you can install SOS RQ. And all this is the SOS workflow engine is the back end. And we also have the SOS Notebook, which is this is another package called SOS Notebook uh, that provides a front end that connects to a Jupyter server. And SOS Notebook is a multi language notebook, so to work with other uh, kernels, you will need to first have the kernel installed. So that's the, for example, if you want to use R, then you need to use the IR, IR kernel. If you want to use the uh, Julia, then you, you need to have the iJulia installed. After you have all the kernels set up, then you will need to install those um, language modules so that SOS can talk to those uh, uh, kernels. So anyway, so let's just get started um, because um, uh, let's see uh, because it can be tedious to install Python and R. So I have already installed a, a fresh copy of Anaconda, Anaconda Python 3.6 and R. So basically, if you would, if you do, if you don't have any Python installed, you can go to anaconda.com and download Anaconda and the uh, uh, install Python 3.6, uh, which is quite easy to do, but it would take like 15 minutes. I, I, I won't like to uh, wait in this video. So let's see. And we have 
if we have, we have Python here. Okay, yes, this is the Python 3.6.2, the Anaconda Python that I just installed. And do we have R also? Yes, we have R 3.4.2. So, um, first, let's uh, install the SOS workflow engine, which is pip install SOS. And you can see this is a, come on. Yes, yeah, downloading SOS point nine nine five. Okay, SOS is installed, so you can test that and say SOS dash H. It will show you all the subcommands that are supported by SOS. We'll show you how to use SOS in other videos, but here we just confirm that SOS has been installed. Um, we can also install pip install SOS PBS because um, we have uh, plenty of clusters and would uh, like to submit our test over. Okay, this is the uh, um, SOS backend, the uh, workflow engine, which is quite easy to do. And then we want to install the SOS notebook. Okay, successfully installed SOS notebook. Um, so what will ha happen after uh, SOS notebook is say now if you have Jupyter um, let's just make the font larger in case that uh, it's difficult to read okay make this even larger okay so a very important command to uh, set up Jupyter and SOS notebook is the Jupyter kernel spec list which tells you what kernels that are available for Jupyter. Okay, right now we can see that we have the SOS and we have the Python 3. But right now we, we do not have any language module installed. So to uh, use SOS with Python, we will need to install, uh, uh, no, this is a pip install SOS Python. Okay then, um, what will happen is that after we install SOS notebook and the language module, we can use Python within SOS. Let's just try that. Jupyter notebook. This will start a Jupyter server. Okay. And if you check, let's make the font larger. If you check here, you can see that you can create a notebook with a Python 3 kernel or a SOS kernel. Let's just first a regular Python 3 kernel. This is, looks like this and say uh, a equals to this is a test. So this is okay. This is Python. This is a Python three kernel. Nothing uh, fancy. And then if you file create another notebook, which is SOS, and you can immediately see some difference here. Um, that's a panel here. That's a notebook, and there's a drop down. Say you can use a SS, SOS kernel or a Python three kernel within the notebook. Okay, so let's suppose that we choose, this is a Python 3. You can see the, the kernel has changed to indicate as a, a Python 3 kernel. This is a Python 3 sub kernel. Okay, so basically what will happen is that it will start a Python 3 kernel inside SOS. If we just type SOS, say A again, you, you can see that 
Hey, that's not exist because here right now this actually is a SOS kernel. If we switch that to Python and run again, you can see this is this is um, in, within Python. Anyway, uh, so let's uh, try to add another uh, kernel which is R. We already have the R installed. Let's get another tab and big um, okay uh, the instructions where's the instructions for R okay so to use R with SOS we need to install the R which we already have we need to install the IR kernel uh, because when we check if we check the uh, kernel list we do not see I, uh, the R kernel right now so we need to install that and we also install need to install the feather library for Python and R so that we can exchange data frame uh, between the two kernels so uh, this one looks easy let's first install the feather format for the uh, for Python because we are using Conda so we can use the, uh, install feather format from the Conda forward wait a bit it's just, just trying to collect all the meta information Okay, yes, let's install. Okay, feather format is installed. Then we need to install the IR kernel and the R feather library using the commands here. Let's just copy the command one by one. We need to start R, install package. Dev tools. I uh, just choose a random mirror. Okay. Um, and then Dev tools install the IR kernel. Okay, that's because I tried to install that before. Uh, so let's just install. The kernel. Kernel spec. Okay, so the kernel is installed to the Jupyter directory. Feather. I think I installed Feather before. Okay. Okay, that's done. So we are done here. So let's see. After installation, we're not going to use the R command line. Um, we check again, Jupyter, kernel spec, list. Okay, now we have the IR, IR kernel installed. But to use, I mean, right now we have the SOS and we have the IR, but we need to bridge them. To do that, we need to install pip install SOSR, which is a language module for R. Okay, so after that, let's see, Jupyter Notebook, let's, see, let's confirm if our uh, Jupyter Notebook is working. Create another, yeah, you can see that R kernel is here, uh, another SOS Notebook. And Jupyter, uh, SOS is trying to uh, detect the available kernels. So we have SOS, R, and Python. Yes, great. Okay, so for example, if we have R and we have empty cars, that's the favorite data frame we want to uh, uh, play with. Okay, so empty Rs that's displayed here. And for example, if we want to 
get the empty cars from R, which is from a SOS uh, kernel. You see, that's the feather. The feather package is used to exchange the frame between uh, our SOS and R. Let's just see the preview empty cars. Yeah, so this preview because the empty cars is right now a Python a pandas data frame and you can preview it here and you can see that MPG and you can actually search for um, Merced. Yeah, Merced, Merced, there are several models over there. Okay, anyway, so we have confirmed that we have the SOS installed, we have SOS notebook installed with uh, the Python and R uh, kernels. So that would end our instruction for today. I will uh, record another video tomorrow to uh, go through the major features of F SOS notebook.